Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you five ways that you can optimize your blog posts in Squarespace. Most of them have to do with my favorite tool for driving traffic to my website, which is Pinterest. So if you're not on Pinterest yet, I highly recommend that you get on there. Okay, let's go. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is enable the pin it buttons on Squarespace. So that means that whenever someone is on your blog, if they hover over one of your blog post graphics, this uh, little symbol is going to come up and if they click on it, then it's going to bring up this pop-up window with the pin and list of all of their boards so that they can easily share it out. And this leads to more traffic and sales for you. So in Squarespace, what you're going to do is you're going to go into settings and then scroll down to where it says marketing and then pin it buttons. And here you can decide it's probably set as disabled right now. So you're going to want to enable this. You can either enable it for your blogs or for your blogs, pages and products up to you. And then down here, you can customize the look. So I have it set as a large circle. You can also choose small and rectangular and change the color as well. So the next thing you're going to want to make sure that you do is optimize your blog post graphics for Pinterest. So these are all of mine here. As you can see, I have the title of my post. I'm linking back to my actual website and it's consistent and on brand. So I have my logo and I have these elements that I use all of the time. So make sure that it's on brand. And the next thing that you're going to want to make sure is that it's a vertical image. So as you can see, this one is definitely taller in height and this works really well on Pinterest. So you can easily create a graphic like this for your own post. All you have to do is go to canva.com and this is my favorite graphic design tool for non-designers. It's fantastic. Um, all you have to do, you'll see at the top that there's already a Pinterest graphic. So you're going to click on that. And this is going to bring up all of these different layouts that you can use. So go through and find one that you like. Keep in mind, you can change everything about it. So you can change the fonts and the colors all to match your brand. So I'm just going to show an example. Let's say I really liked this one. Awesome. I could easily change what it says. Just click on it and type in your title. Awesome. And I could change the color. All I have to do is highlight that and select my color right up here. Yeah, so play around with this. I'm actually going to release a more in-depth video, so stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you catch that video as well. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is add a caption to your blog post graphic. So in Squarespace, I'm going to hover over my image, I'm going to click Edit, and then Design. And you'll see here that it says do not display caption. You're going to change that to caption below. Scroll down and you'll see that there's this text area here. So what you're going to want to do is describe what your blog post is about and include a link back to it. So for example, I'm going to paste this in. Learn how to fix any text formatting issues in Squarespace. Watch the free tutorial here and I include the link. So I'm going to paste that in and then I'm going to flip it back to do not display caption. Then I'm going to press apply and save. So what this means is that when somebody goes to this post and goes to share it on Pinterest, this caption is going to automatically copy over, which is fantastic because that means that you have a higher chance of ranking because you've already put those keywords in there and a link back. So definitely make sure that you do this to your blog post graphic and any of your images within your blog post as well. 
So this next one is more of a general rule and something that you need to do with all of your images that you add to your Squarespace site, and that's naming your images. So if I go to this first blog post graphic, click edit, you'll see that there's this file name area. Make sure that you fill that out and that you include keywords that you want to rank for. So as you can see, Squarespace is obviously one of mine. So I've named the file and included Squarespace in there. And finally, the last thing that you want to do is include a way for people to get on your email list within every blog post. As you can see at the bottom of my post, I have an opt-in for a free guide which people can get in exchange for joining my list. So make sure that you have included this in every single one of your blog posts because this is extremely important for your marketing efforts to be constantly growing your email list. I'll touch more on this in another video, but for now, those are five ways to optimize your Squarespace blog. That's it for this video. Of course, there's a lot of other things that you can do to optimize your blog posts in Squarespace, and I want to share all of them with you. I'm working on a new product right now that I'm really excited about, so make sure that you get on my email list. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.